Hi, so in a previous video I did water desalination using Oasis foam and we carbonized the Oasis foam and covered it in exfoliated graphite, which we also had to make, uh, following MIT. Uh, and it was awesome, really. It, it boiled the water astonishingly quickly. In like a minute or two, it started giving off steam that you could condense as pure water, leaving the salt behind in the bowl. The foam actually floats on the water, so as the water's used up, the foam sinks down, making its own self-leveling. And I thought that was kind of very, very cool indeed. However, it did also occur to me that a lot of people might think it's... Um, a lot of tedious mucking around with dangerous chemicals and Oasis foam, which is a phenolic foam. Uh, and I thought, well, there's got to be a better way. And of course, there is a better way. There's a way that's really easy to do and you can have a go as well. Now, it does involve you getting some of our ink and some of this stuff. This is a graphitic felt. We sell it on the shop and I'll put the link in the bottom. We sell the ink in the shop. I'll put the link in the bottom as well. And all you have to do, which is astonishing, really, is paint that with a bit of our ink. Now, it is a graphene ink, so it doesn't really surprise me that that's, this um, happens. So you just paint a coat on the top. There we go. And leave it to dry. Now we're going to soak it in water, so you have to dry it thoroughly. If you leave it a bit damp, the water will lift the paint. So once it's dried thoroughly, it's fine. It's attached itself to the felt and kind of sunk in the felt a little bit. So there's lots and lots of little holes in it that we're not seeing. That top surface is now covered with an adherent graphene coating. There's graphite in there, so there's graphite uh, coating and graphene coating just on the top layer of the felt. And the felt is really water absorbent, so if we put that into water, it'll act the same way as that foam. It'll wick the water up to the graphene layer. The graphene layer is the layer that's getting hit by the sun, and that will get very hot and steam that as well. So this will do the same job as MIT's foam, only it's really, really easy, much easier, no mucking around with dangerous chemicals. All you have to do is paint some of our paint onto the top of a felt, and you're going to be able to replicate it. So let's go have a look at that. So there's our painted felt in some water. And just like the MIT stuff, it's steaming away. Isn't that awesome? Okay, just to help illustrate that a bit better, in case you can't see it steaming, because I can, I've got a bit of cold glass here. If I pop that cold glass over, and immediately you can see the condensation forming on the glass. That's very cool. So as you saw, the setup was exactly the same as the setup we used in the MIT replication experiment, the Oasis foam. I used it from the um, heat lamp because we're in March and we're in England and we have no sun. As soon as summer comes around, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be out in that car park trying to boil pots of water. But we put that through a Fresnel lens and pointed that at the same square with the same volume of water in the same position and it steamed absolutely beautifully. So this will replace all of that tedious effort. All you have to do is paint it with some hard ink and you've got a water desalination unit. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you because I think this process is actually awesome. The only real challenge is making it extraordinarily robust and cheap. It has to be cheap because we need to make a lot of it and send it to countries that don't have a lot of money. So we need to have it very cheap. It has to be robust because we don't need something that's got a lot of technical um, expertise required to maintain it. We really have a roll of this stuff. Roll out on your pond, you're going to have fresh, clean water. Anyway, I thought that was kind of awesome, really. So I thought I would share it with you. So thank you very much for watching.